Hello everyone, this is Gail from Gail's Upstairs Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a pretty short one. The video that I had planned to put up today had a lot of issues with it, so I decided to hold off on that video and do it another time. And instead, I thought I would show you my color diary. This is a response to a question I've gotten a couple of times in comments from other videos that you've seen a page or two of this book. I do have this painter's color diary that I have used and it's pretty much full and instead of buying another one I decided it would be nice to have a more casual creative look to it so that it wasn't all squares and if I want to I can add to it in different ways and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. This is the cover. I have a We Are Memory Keepers mini cinch that I made the book with. The cover and the back cover are just the backs of some paper pads that I had and I never throw them out and I save them to make book covers and I didn't even bother to completely cover it. I just had um, a mixed media piece that I was practicing with and playing around with that I cut to fit and then I lettered on top of that. Simple as that, nothing major and just basically having fun with it. And this also gives me an opportunity to dig out some of my old stamps. I have a ton. Some of them are for swatching and some of them aren't and I just use them to decorate with. So that's a wooden block stamp as are these on the corners. And I just did the cover page with Paul Rubens that I had gotten a little while ago right around the time I made this book actually so that's what I chose for the cover and the first page is my da Vinci collection and you can see these stamps up here are some art stamps I don't remember where or when I got most of these I've had them for quite a long time so I apologize I don't have links um, these circle pieces here are from a swatching set that I got and I have room to either put more colors over here or to do a little bit of painting or something over here if I choose to. Next is core. And I have two sets of core, one in tubes and one in pans. And there is a couple of crossovers between the two. But the ones that I only have pans in, I actually drew just little squares to represent pans. And the rest of them are all in canning jars. And I haven't written anything there yet. Don't know if I will or not. I just put that there for now. And I've left this blank. The paper in this, by the way, is a couple of full sheets of fluid 100% cotton paper. It tears very nicely. It's a little less expensive than Arches and Fabriano. And I like the softness of it and it takes color very well so I chose this to use and I already had it so and this is my Mgram and this is my Rosa Gallery Romantics collection and I did a little something different with this just trying something new every flower is one color but every petal is a different value of that color so I can get a complete range of information about what its lightest value is, what its darkest value is, and everything in between. And next is Daniel Smith. I started with this page first. This was what I had in tubes. And then I got some sticks and so I added that to this page. This is the sticker that came with the the sticks and just playing around with how to use the sticks and down here I got a question one day and a comment on the sticks about if there was any difference in granulation between a granulating color on stick 
and in tube and I actually had undersea green in both so I swatched those out there so I could answer that question and this is my Magello Mission Gold and as you can see I have a lot of colors of that so I probably will do a painting with some of these here only because I don't believe I need any more I have everything I need in Mission Gold and I like this set very much and this is the Paul Rubin set that I did the cover page with and this is all the colors that came in the set and then the greens were not greens that I generally would use a lot of so I wanted to make sure I could mix greens that I would use a lot and so I did some mixing over here and this is another stamp for swatching that I've had This page here is Winsor & Newton. Now I've never shown a swatching video or anything on Winsor & Newton because I didn't buy this all at once. I didn't buy it in a set. This is something that I have gotten a tube or two here and there over the years and I had never swatched them out together so I decided it was time to do that. And I took a stamp and I just kept re-stamping it up the page and down in the corner thinking that at some point I'll come back and color it. Now this page is a little different. This is a page with metallic colors on it and actually this was the video that was supposed to go up today. A few weeks ago I got a package in the mail that I didn't know I was getting. My husband had ordered something for me and I had no idea. I had been watching a YouTube channel um, called The Art Spirits and she is a handmade paint maker in the UK and he noticed that I was watching it and he ordered me a set which came right out of the blue and it was a beautiful package um, very detail oriented lots of little extras in it an extra dot card in it she did such a lovely job and the video just didn't come out full disclosure I don't know her she doesn't know me but I wanted to show an unboxing because it was just really nice this is the set that I got might as well show you now metallics that she does a lot of metallics and glitters and things like that and then I also got a dot card that had this color in it and it was so much fun to play with and I've been playing with it a lot since and it lasts a long time and this sticker on the back is from artwork she did herself it came in the package and I just put it on the back of the box so if you are looking for a nice gift for someone or something different for yourself, if you check her YouTube channel out, I believe most of her information on how to get these are there. She has lots of options. And just watching how much time and effort she puts in, she does it all herself and has her mother's help with wrapping, hand wrapping individually the pans. So that's a good channel to check out if you're interested and that is the end of the swatches for now but I started from the back I did a video of this one um, I had bought some new colors of da Vinci and when I got them it dawned on me they made a pretty good color story just those colors um, except for the Titan buff, I added the Titan buff to it. And so I did some color mixing, and then I did a picture of geraniums. And this one I didn't do on camera, but this was another Da Vinci page. And I just did some mixes here, and I wrote what the mixes are in case I want to refer to them later. And just did some exotic daisies over here. And I have room to do more of that in this book in the back 
and probably will be more of that and less swatching because I as you can see I have plenty <laughs> but um, and the reason why I haven't shown this book yet is basically because it's not done and part of the reason why I wanted to do it this way is so that I can continue to work on it if I get a new color if I want to try mixing a couple of colors from a set that I have if I want to just do a painting if I want to color in some stamps like the Windsor and Newton page um, and I will I'll be putting more stamps I'll be filling it more and as I do that I'll probably show this book again I hope that answered the questions that I have gotten and I'm sorry this was a quick one next week we'll be back to normal I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time